Hey guys, it's Landon Blake with Redefined Horizons. It's Sunday, about 7 p.m. I'm feeling a little groggy because I got my second COVID shot, but I wanted to do the training video. So bear with me here if my, forgive me if my eyes are a little droopy. Alright, so in this video, we're going to put together a, what we call a boundary and land title quick check. And I don't want to bore you guys with, with all the details of that. It's just it's basically a simple form that we put together for people in commercial real estate that gives them an indication of if they have potential boundary and land title issues that they need to look into before purchase or before they put something on them put a property on the market. So I got a request for um, some quick checks on some parcels in Bakersfield. Sorry, that was my wife asking what I wanted for dinner tomorrow. <laughs> so anyways, we got a request to do, do some quick checks for some parcels in, uh, in Bakersfield. Uh, this is a request that came in from a lender, local lender down there. So what do you need uh, when you're going to start a quick check? All right, so here's the team. You need to be logged into DataTree. You need to have the county GIS website up, preferably the one that uh, allows you to locate and download filed survey maps and you need to be logged into um, sorry and you need to have the uh, see I told you I was a little bit grubby you also need to have a place to put all your research and your forms so you can see you can go into redefine horizons under business development uh, we have this folder called quick survey checks if you come down here to the bottom I've made my uh, I've made a folder here for my quick check I just put in the street address of one of the parcels. This, we don't get super uptight about this, right? It's just a, it's just a quick check. Um, so you can see this is the 23rd one that we actually followed procedure for this year. So if you go into that folder, um, and you're welcome to just, my, my folks are welcome to just dump all their stuff in here, but I went ahead and made a research folder, one for deeds, one for file survey maps, subfolders in that. And then I've got my first form here because I'm going to have half a dozen or so. Uh, they asked they asked for about a half a dozen of these. Okay, so again, be logged into Data Tree. Have the county GIS website up that allows you to locate survey maps, and uh, have a have a folder under Quick Checks with a place to put your research and to put the actual Quick Check forms. Okay. All right, so let me pull this over so you guys can see it. Okay, so this is the. Um, the actual request that we got from the lender and um, I've talked to Jeremy already about that um, so here's the county GIS um, and this is the website that lets you download their maps by the way kudos to the guys in Kern County um, they have a nice setup okay. alright so I went ahead and searched in data tree for this first APN alright I'm not going to I'm not going to make you guys uh, watch me do all seven of these, however many there is. We're just going to do the first one. Okay, so I put the APN in here. This just came right out of the quick check form. Uh, put the uh, APN here in data tree, and uh, it brings me to the parcel. Okay, so here's the uh, here's the parcel. Okay, and you want to don't once you find this, don't close the view because we're going to get in here and look at this real close. Okay, and then um, we're going to come down here and we want to grab the last transfer document and the assessor map we want to get out of data tree. Okay, so we'll order those. Okay, so this is the first hint that we might have a problem. Um, and it's because there's no, no transfer document. Okay, so that means the title company doesn't have the last transaction here. Um, this is probably because this is a, a parcel that's owned by a nonprofit, so it's not being taxed by the local assessor. Uh, but this is a potential issue, right? Um, and by the way, this is totally unscripted. I have no idea what we're going to find. Um, so I, I haven't walked through this yet. So this is a, this is a real life. Okay, so if you can't get the last transfer document, I like to try and get the last. Sometimes you can get the last finance document, although my guess is we probably won't get that either. Alright, to my surprise, we actually did get the last finance document, so that's good. 
So we're going to go ahead and save those here. You just hit that little button that says, this just gives you more or less of the map. And then we can come in here and, and uh, up at the top here we have the docs that we, that we look for. So we're going to save them both. Okay. And uh, we'll look at these in a minute. Now, good news for me, I took a peek there. And these other uh, five or so APNs, six APNs, um, are, this, are this set here, this stack. Okay, which is good news um, because it's being occupied. <laughs> it looks like at least being partly occupied by the folks in this parcel. So uh, this is really just, we're going to be able to combine this. is going to be a single quick check. Okay. All right, so here's the first thing we want to do. We want to go look at the APN map and the deed. So let's do that. And uh, we want to do a couple things here as part of our quick check. The first thing is we just want to we want to know like do we see any major problems with the uh, with the grant deed? And then the second thing is uh, does the does the legal description in the grant deed appear at first glance to match the tax assessor's map? Right, and this isn't a detailed study. You know, we're not cogo on a bunch of stuff we're just we're trying to get we're trying to get a quick look so let's just go in and, and look at this legal here okay so this is the deed of trust and we're going to come down here and try and find the land description you know just real quick we should look at this uh, we should check the okay so it's a deed of trust it's uh, to this nonprofit here um, and Valley Republic Bank, okay, which is what I would expect to see with the deed of trust. So it's good to take a quick look at the grantor grantee and make sure that matches what's in the title company website. All right, so here's our uh, here's our legal description. Okay, and they actually they, they made this easy for us because they got the parcels listed with the APNs, as long as those APNs haven't changed. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull my title company website over here where I can see it. You guys won't be able to see it, but... Okay, so parcel one... Is this uh, is the big one right here? That's the APN. Okay. Oh no, oh, I'm sorry. Let's see. Is that it? Nope, that's not it. It's 179, 120, 22. Okay, so this is uh, this is interesting. This uh, this parse one and APN is not. Um, in our property, okay, so this deed covers uh, multiple parcels. Um, okay, so here's our here's our parcel. Let's just I have to make sure I'm not messing that up. Yeah, I am not messing that up. That APN is not one of the seven. Okay, I think this might be a typo though. I th I think these might be our parcels that we're look the the small stack of parcels we're looking for. I think that might be these. And uh, they may have goofed up on a, on the APN and the deed, or the APN changed, but we'll, we'll look at that in a sec. Okay, so parcel uh, 2 is our APN for our big parcel, and it's a uh, parcel A of a lot line adjustment. Okay, and it's a portion of parcel 3 on some map. Okay, and so we'll want to make sure we pull that map. It's a parcel map, 2627. Okay, and they go, uh, we've got a bearing and distance, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so yeah, they got problems with this legal. Okay, um, there's no controlling calls in here. All right, this is just it's just meets and bounds. So uh, yeah, this is not good, right? Um, so this is somebody writing a legal description that doesn't know what they're doing. Okay, and then uh, we got seven we got seven lots here, parcels 15 through 21. So even though it doesn't match the APN. I'm guessing these seven lots um, per this book uh, parcel map here, book 17, page 173, is our stack. Okay. All right, so we got some good news for the client, and we got some bad news for the client. Um, good news is it looks like this thing matches the APN. Bad news is they've got some issues in the grant deed. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna pull those maps and look at them, but let's just get started on our quick check form here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and open that up. We do this in Inkscape. Okay. 
Okay, so the very first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to just jump down and add my address. Okay, so this is 2240 South Union Avenue. Bakersfield, California. Okay, and then um, right here we've got this section on the deed. Okay, so right here we say that the so we just we che we tweak this list of che checks based on what we find in our research. Okay, so um, right here we just want to say, hey, we got some major problems in the in the deed. Okay, so there are major problems in the land description of the deed. Fix these before parcel is conveyed. Okay, so we're just telling them, hey, you need to fix that land description. Right, you got some issues there. Okay, we're going to pull this down. Just to make a little more room. And we may have to, we may have to tweak this layout a little bit. Okay, so that, that's a bad thing. That's not a good thing. Okay, but the good news is, as far as we can tell, and I may cogo up this little map, uh, but as far as we can tell, sorry, I'm just looking for my center snap. Uh, the, the deed appears to match the APN. My center snap is just not working here. Let me turn off the grid. Okay, so if it's good, it gets a green check. If it's bad, it gets a red X. Okay, so, yep. These guys got problems in their grand deed, so we're going to pull that over. Okay. So that takes care of the deed. Now the other things we look we look at, we look at how old, has it ever been surveyed, and if so, how long ago was the last survey? Are the property corner monuments set? Are there encroachments? And if we're given a title report, um, are there any land title issues? Okay, so we've just we've just done this first section here on the deed, and um, we're going to go pull those maps that are mentioned in the deed, take a look at those, take a look at, at the other survey maps in the area. Okay, but this video is already long at 13 minutes, so I'll stop this and. Uh, and I'll do another video. We'll, we'll take a look at uh, the survey maps next. Okay, guys? Thanks for watching.